I drew, I started drawing as like as early as I can remember. I've just always been doodling stuff. Uh, I remember as a four or five year old, I drew a lot of Spider-Man. I still remember drawing Spider-Man on his sp uh, spider motorcycle, uh, going on a tightrope across the circus. And I spent like, I just felt like weeks perfecting the webs on his fingers and making sure the spider bike had the right amount of like spider stuff on it. Uh, yeah, I drew a lot of Spider-Man. And I drew a lot of dinosaurs and snakes. I remember a lot being really into reptiles. <laughs> I mean, there were a number of things that inspired it. Uh, a big inspiration is certainly my wife, <clears throat> who happens to be Minnesotan. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in Minnesota over the last bunch of years, and I've been just learning a lot more about that state. Uh, and I just, I just, I think it's really cool the whole sort of Scandinavian background to a lot of the stuff in, in Minnesota. It just gives it a very unique flavor. Um, so yeah, my wife certainly had a lot to do, I think, with the influence. Uh, and we both uh, recently had been to Iceland on a trip, and that's when I kind of discovered the whole hidden people thing about, I don't know, four or five years ago now. <clears throat> and around that time, too, there were, uh, there were a ton of crazy videos on YouTube of gnomes being sighted in South America, and they were, like, super scary and creepy. Because uh, a lot of the, the Icelandic stuff, the, the hidden people in Icelandic lore aren't exactly from the stuff that I read, I mean, they aren't really quite as creepy as I've been portraying them. I've, the hidden people that I've made have sort of been a culmination of, of just a, a number of different things. <laughs>